Okay, good morning. So we're creating a little inner fire in the center of your palm, Laogon, the bubbling spring. And we're gonna bring this energy to different parts of the body and start with the thighs, bend the knees. Now my spine is long. I'm bending at the quad with the flat back. So I'm using the core muscles, my spine is long and I'm massaging my thighs, warming up my hands on my thighs. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring the chi to the knees around the knees and the shin bones and the calf muscles from behind. The soft spot under the knees, the back of the thighs, and come up right and massage your tail, the sacral area. Come up a little higher to the small of the back, the kidneys. Come back and forth along the spine, the, the waist area, and we're warming up our kidneys, our shin shoe points. And then the hands come to the side of the ribs to dab out. Strengthen the immune system, strengthening our heart and our digestive system. And then we're going to give good chi with your palms to the groin lymphatic system. The qua. So we're smiling into your qua. Qua, 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 qua. And come to the lower belly, the lower dantian, and smile. Smiling has such a profound effect on the functioning of your organs. So when you smile into the belly, you're giving good chi to all the organs. We all need self-love and self-care. And giving it to the core of our being, our gut, is really important. And then come to the heart center, smiling into your heart, unconditional love and joy. Passion and compassion for yourself and for others, all your classmates, all your loved ones. Take one hand to, right hand to the left shoulder. You're going to get the collarbone, left hand under the rib, and you're going to get good chi to your trepan and chi hu, the chi door to your lungs. The other hand supports it. And we go the other side to our trepan and chi hu, smiling. Then take your right hand over the left shoulder. Give yourself a pat on the back for training on Zoom. Lift up the elbow. Get underneath the shoulder blade. Getting galang and feishu. The acupressure points on the lungs to support the lungs, especially during our pandemic. And then open the fingers and push back. Are you seeing any stagnant energy out of the body? Other hand over the shoulder. Give yourself that pat on the back. Lift up higher. Get galang and feishu from behind. And modify, if something doesn't work for you, then don't do it or do less of it. Use your mind to guide the chi where you can go. And you're always welcome to sit down and take care of yourself and open the palms and push back. Then with my fingers wide open, I'm gonna preen the wings from the outside. This is the yang meridians. And then palm up as I release the yin meridians. Cleansing. And the other side. So I'm brushing from the fingers open, palm down, the yin meridians, the outer arm. And palms up, get the inner arm, the yin meridians. And just stand for a moment and notice if you feel a little more alive, a little more vibrant. Beautiful. Now take two hands, two knuckles, one knuckle in front of the other, put them above the knees to the soft spot. We're gonna hug those inner thighs as you breathe out and breathe in to relax. So we're hugging the inner thighs, kidney, liver, spleen channels as you breathe out, we hug, release and hug, and then change knuckles. So, the, so we never have bone on bone. There's a place for it. Breathing out as you hug those inner thighs. And then roll the body up. Nice. Now I want you to hug the inner thighs without using the hands. The same inner thigh muscles are hugging and release. 
Now, and you're hugging the inner thighs, kidney, liver, spleen, channel. You'll feel the buttocks working too, but I'm really thinking of the yin meridians, the inner leg activated as I breathe out, as I hug. Release, and again, and now just relax and breathe. That pumps a lot of good chi in your yin meridians through the body. And as you hug the inner thighs, kiss the shoulder blades down and back. So they're kissing each other behind you and release. And kiss, the shoulders are down and back, trying to kiss each other from behind. And release, do this your own breath rhythm. And really feel the chest opening. As you loosen up tension in the shoulders and in the neck. And release, now hug the inner thighs, kiss the shoulder blades, feel the inner smile. Now just relax and breathe. And just notice yourself on the alignment, the head balance over the shoulders, over the hips, over the feet. Now we're going to work on the feet, lift the fingers and toes. We're activating all the meridians in the body. There are 20 channels, and as you twinkle, hands and feet lift up, visualize like a star shining upon above, from above, and shining upon you. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Think about somebody who's passed who loves you and you love them and they're shining their essence upon you the bright healing light i like to think of my father up there smiling upon me as i get to smile upon him, twinkling to each other and relax for a moment and feel the hands and feet much more alive tweaking really does something to all the channels now, lift the toes and fingers again. Feel the ball, the big toe, little toe, heel form a tripod. So there's an inner arch that's lifting of the foot, an outer arch that's lifting. And the heel, the ball, the big toe, little toe, sinking like a tripod and sink roots into the depth of your height. If you're five feet tall, you have five feet of roots. Then the toes spread out five or six feet in all directions. So a healthy tree has roots the depth of its height and as wide as its branches. Soften the knees, and as we sink down, we're going to visualize a thirsty tree, hands, feet, purity, and drawing energy up, and breathe out as it sinks back to the earth. So we're just pumping, training, gathering chi from the earth, hands and feet, purity, and sink it back. So we're gathering energy from the earth into our bubbling springs of the hands and feet, and the lower gate, the purity. Breathe in, let it chi rise. We're just breathing it in and then spread your roots. This time energy will rise from the roots through the trunk to the top of the tree as you breathe in. And on the breath out, your tree blossoms. Like the beautiful magnolia trees and plum trees. Again, energy rises from the roots through the trunk to the top of the tree and breathe out as it expands. And soften everything back to the earth. And again, you're just gathering the essence of energy from the earth through your body like a conduit so your tree can blossom like the beautiful magnolia trees. And we're going to reverse. Arms go out and up and relax the shoulders. And visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the clouds, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon, and the stars is infinite energy is pure healing light, golden light, slowly shining upon you. As the hands come down, feel that healing light pouring into every cell of your body, dissolving tension, dissolving blockage, Dissolving dis-ease and diseases. Use your mind to guide the chi through the body, through the legs, into the earth and roots below. Standing in grace, hug his smile. The arms will float out and up again. As the palms go up, the shoulders are down. And again, connect to that heavenly light. And pour the essence and let this light banish away any tension any worry, any fear, any blockage, discomfort, dis-ease or diseases out of the body using the mind to help guide the chi all the way back to the earth and roots below.
with your relaxed breathing. And one more time, floating out and up to the heavens. And as we pour again this healing light into your own body, visualize all of your loved ones and all beings on this planet. Everything that breathes receives this healing. As you receive, we all receive. If there's an area of discomfort or blockage or dis-ease, take an extra breath, shining the light, breathing into that part of your body. Wonderful. As we hug, kiss, smile, G, our feet are grounded. R, we have relaxed respiration in the belly. A, we're aligned between heaven and earth and aware of where we are in space. C, we feel centered. And E, we allow the energies of the universe to flow through our body. You are looking so good. So now bring the feet together. As our feet are rooted to the earth, put the middle finger opposite the navel at the kidneys at knee men, shoulder legs kiss. And even here, I want you to hug those inner thighs as the feet are rooted and allow the tree to dance in the breeze. Now, if you were to follow the workbook, this would be the first exercise in the workbook. Keep those feet rooted. Your body moves like a willow or bamboo, just flowing easily with the strong roots in the earth. Then massage up and down along the spine and back and forth. And go the other direction. So your lap on palms are on the small the back of the kidneys, your shin shoe point. As your body moves freely, that you're so rooted, you will not topple over. Standing, raise, hug, kiss, smile. Your right palm over the heart, the other palm over that. Again, we're going to smile in our heart. Circling unconditional love and joy. Self-compassion and compassion for others. Tolerance. Loving kindness. Now open your feet, shoulder hip width distance. Our hands at the side of the hips. As you come on the ball of the foot, you're going to feel where the hip goes in the socket at Wan Tiao. So you want to put the fingers in Wan Tiao so you know that you're in the right place where the hip goes into the socket. Then place the center of your palm cupping over Wan Tiao. So now we're, so now we're going to so now we're going to give, now we're going to give these, our feet are rooted to the earth. And now as we circle, keep the feet rooted so that. The weight stays even between the front and back of the foot and the inner outer foot as you circle the rest of the body. Toes, total fluidity and very grounded. If you imagine you have a long tail going all the way down, you could swish it around and round like you have a great big cauldron of soup. You're just going to stir that soup that long tail going down. And when you're stirring the soup, the rest of the body gets to loosen up and move freely. Then drop the tail and massage. We're massaging one tia, then massage the tail, the sacral area. Come back to one tia, soften the knees and go the other direction. So again, the feet are rooted, the tail is rooted, and you're mixing the soup. You know, if you only mix the top of the soup, then stuff gets stuck at the bottom. So you really want to get the bottom mixed well. And that will allow everything else to move free. Then drop the tail, one palm over the belly. And now we smile into the core of our being, the lower dantian. And yes, smiling does have a profound effect on the functioning of your organs. This is so good for your digestive system. 
So when your tummy hurts, smile and massage the lower belly. Now bring the feet together, middle finger in the navel. I'm going to lift in and up. I'm activating the core muscles. The belly sort of sucks in, but I'm still breathing down here. And now I'm going to bend at the claw with a flat back here. And I'm lifting the, um, the core, hands on the knees. And because I'm lifting the core, there's no weight in the knees. Now, if I were to drop my core muscles, all the weight would go on my knees. So you're gonna lift the core, feel the stomach working and breathing. You'll feel the small of the back expanding. And now I'm gonna circle the knees to the right. So activating the core will help support the spine, will strengthen your core. But make sure you're breathing. We don't hold our breath because we're activating the core muscles. And then massage the knees, giving good healing energy with your Lao Gong palms, bubbling springs of the hands, and go the other direction. And then massage the knees. Hug the inner thighs so you're on the ball of the foot, lifting the heels quarter of an inch and circle to the right. I lift the heels and circle back to the heels, going to the right. I'm massaging the ball of the foot, Yong Chen, the first point on the kidney meridian. Massage the knees and go the other direction. The inner thighs are hugging, lifting those heels a bit. Massage the knees, then your Lao Gun pumps and one here. We go down the outside of the legs, which is the gallbladder channel, and really brush down, opening that, that channel. Then open your feet hip with distance, and we're going to come up the inner leg, working on the spleen, kidney, liver, just brushing up. Then bend the knees, feel the tripod feet rooted, the tail rooted, the core lifted, and come up vertebrae by vertebrae. As we slowly stand in grace, feel the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Relax breathing, feel the feet grounded. Lovely, very nice. Now the hands are going to draw chi up from the earth like a magnet drawing it up to the lower belly, smiling. And I have sort of a triangle. Index fingers are about one, uh, one inch apart. Thumbs are about two inches apart. And I'm hovering about an inch or two over the belly. Armpits are open. So I'm just floating the hands over the energy of the lower belly as I smile. And here I hug his smile as well. Relax and breathe. Lovely. Then bring it to the heart center. And I'm just giving good chi to the middle dantian. Middle field of energy, filling your heart with unconditional love and joy and gratitude. Come to the third eye to relax the mind, the upper dantian. Bring the third finger to the crown at bike way. Visualizing there's a golden cord lifting the crown to the heaven as the tail sinks to the earth. So you're really stretching your spine in both directions. And then we're going to slowly interlace fingers over the soft spot at the top of the head at bike way. Good. And elbows are open here. You feel the chest open. Lovely. Now just turn the palms over. And then you're going to stretch up as high as feels good for you. I am limited. So modify as you need to. And then you're going to bend the knees and bring the hips tilting forward so that you can stretch up to the heaven and back. The hands are directly over by way if you can. Keep the knees bent. The back is not bent. It's the hips coming forward, allowing you to look up. I'm just tilting back. Good. Now go to your right side four times to the right. As you go to the right, you're going to feel more of a stretch on the left side of the body as you breathe out. Get those wonderful stretches. 
and go the other side. And if possible, the arms are like close to the ears. The elbows are close to the ears. And come center, and then the thumb goes down as if you're unzipping a zipper. Going down to the lower dantian and circling. So I go down the front like an unzipping a zipper, and then I circle around. And this is clearing the field, the yin meridians, clearing the front of the body from any stagnant energy. Just creating a clearing house. And then standing, grace the inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. Notice the breathing, notice how you're feeling, lovely. Now, the palms and the eyes are facing the earth. Receiving energy from the earth. And then lift the chi up and bring to the outside of your right heel, press down, just with the eyes and the palm, the head stays upright. Then draw the chi up the outside of your left foot and press it down and slide in the middle. Then we're going to bend at the quad with a flat back. As you bend forward with a flat back, we go down center. The hands will draw chi up the outside of the right heel, press it down. Draw chi up the outside of the left heel, press it down. Slide in the middle, relax the head and come up vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel the feet rooted, tail rooted, building up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, standing in grace, lovely. Now we're gonna roll down. The head goes down, shoulders go down. The belly stays lifted, but you're gonna go as far down as you can. Feel the back of the leg stretch, the head really dangle. The hands are gonna draw chi up from the earth, outside the right heel, press it down. Draw chi up the outside of the left heel, push it down. Slide in the middle, bend the knees over your second toe and come up vertebrae by vertebrae. The feet rooted, the tail rooted, vertebrae by vertebrae coming upright. Bring you back into grace, hug his smile. When you get there, just relax and breathe. Lovely. Now, from the quad, we're going to only bend about 15 degrees with the long spine, long back. So we're activating the core muscles again as you face the earth. So the core is working a lot here. You don't have to go very far down. The hands will lift the chi up the outside of your right heel. Press down. Lift the chi up outside of the left heel. Push down. Slide in the middle and come upright. Lovely. Now you can go beyond the barely bend, take any bend you would like, this is your stretch. So go there, feel the core working, feel the stretch behind the legs and the spine. And really breathe into the stretch, really enjoy this clinical stretch. The hands will then draw chi up the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up the outside of the left heel. Slide in the middle and circle the arms down and out as we whisk away negative energy from the lower body, circling down and out. And then hands on the elbows, circling down and out. And then you're now going to palm some one chi out, slapping down from one chi out down towards the ankles. Make sure you get where the, um, the joints are, where the slap is joints swell. Bend the knees and roll a vertebra. The vertebrae feel the feet planted, the tail planted, lift the core. Coming back up into grace, I just smile. Ooh. Did you get a nice stretch? I certainly did. Now, open a little wider as you sit on the saddle of a horse. Really feel your feet rooted. And we're going to now. Do an upright bear. So the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. And put all the weight on one foot and really feel that foot rooted to the earth. Rooted down and spreading the roots. And you're, when the knees bend, you're gonna feel that thigh working. You're gonna feel that you're actually um, working. And then I'm gonna gently push off in that foot and the weight comes in the middle of the lower dantian. And then I'm gonna pour the energy into the other foot. 
So again, you're going to feel that in the thigh. So knees stay bent, and I'm going to now push off from the bubbling spring of this foot. The energy comes into the belly and goes down into the other foot. And you're going to visualize that there's a rainbow rising from the earth into the lower dantian and into the other foot. And Kat just came on. She's the one that taught me about rainbows. So energy rises from the earth into the belly and into the other foot. So we're creating beautiful rainbows from the earth into the lower dantian. So I stay with my knees bent the whole time. I don't come up in the middle, but the energy rises up to the lower dantian. And then we're gonna put all the weight, put all the weight on your left foot. And as you sink into the left foot, you feel the thigh. Put your right heel on the ground as the toes up to the heaven. And then you're gonna lift the core and go over the left leg with that flat back. So the hands are over the left thigh and you're feeling your right calf muscle stretching as the toes are up. I hope you can see that, okay. Then I go over my right leg and I'm just gonna warm up the leg as I relax the spine. With the weight on the back foot, the right knee, elongate the spine so your nose is over your second toe. Index finger sinks to the earth. Thumb index middle finger sink. Ten finger center roots. And if you're flexible enough to touch the foot, do so. If not, visualize your chin sinking to your toe. And really enjoy the stretch. Long spine, long leg. Breathing in the lower down tan, the belly expand. Then your lap on palms give you chi from one to out, down the outside, and inside the leg. So you're slapping the yang and the meridian. Then your right hand goes down the outside, your left hand brushes up the inside, the inside, brushing, whisking. And slowly come up parallel, and you're going to feel lopsided because one side's more stretched than the other. Sit back on the saddle of your horse, all the way down the right foot, right knee is bent, left heel touches the toes up. Go over your right leg with the long spine. Feel the length of the spine as your left leg's really stretched and the calf muscle hamstring is stretching. Then go over the left leg, keep the core working and just warm up that leg. Keep all the weight on your right, the back leg. Bring the hands over the left knee, elongate the spine so your nose is over your second toe, the long spine, long leg. Index finger sinks to the earth. That index middle finger sink and ten finger sink. And as you look between the first and second toe, if you can touch the toe well, do so. If not, visualize the chin sinking to your toe. Breathe into the stretch. Breathe into the spine. Breathe into the lower dantian. And then they love pads. Make sure you really get the joints while you're slapping. Left hand goes down the outside the arm meridians, right hand comes up the inside the inner meridians. And then come back parallel, bend the knees over the second toe, feet are rooted, tails rooted very slowly, we elongate the spine, coming into grace. Hug his smile. Notice you're breathing, you are looking so well. Oh, this beautiful posture, I love it. Now, put the small, the hands over the kidneys, then both knees, and put all the way down the left foot. Now, if you have a balance problem, you may need a chair to help you. I'm gonna drag my right toe in, and I'm looking now at a single point. I'm looking actually at the green light of my computer as I'm lifting that leg up to balance. And I'm breathing, and come down, and step into the right foot, the knee is bent, and keep focusing on that point, the inner thighs hug, and see how far you can lift the leg up. It may be only an inch, but if you can bring it up more, do so. It's up to you. Make sure you're holding, you're not holding your breath. And open. Now, as I put all the way down the left foot, my right leg comes up. I'm gonna go across the body, activating the lymph nodes and the groin. Step out, other side. 
and go across. And now boot out of your system any tension, any worry, any frustration, anything that doesn't serve you. There's a lot happening out there that doesn't serve us, so just let it go right now. And go higher. Make sure the shoulder blades are kissing so you're really upright. And then start low pointing. We're getting the yin meridians now. Stretch. Going across the body activates the lymphatic system, strengthening the immune system. And then we're going to go higher. The can can. We're all raquettes right now. And standing grace, hug his smile. Feel that chi flow in your body. When you release the negative, you fill up with positive. Notice your breathing. Notice the vibration in your body. We are alive with this wonderful life energy. And soften the knees. Our hands are going to draw chi from Mother Earth. Bring from the earth through the legs to the lower belly, smiling up to your heart. And then open your arms as we create a beautiful circle today. Let's see how many people are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of us today. So we have a beautiful circle, 13 wild geese. Relax the shoulders, elbows, third finger connects energetically. The third finger is the pericardium, the heart protector. So with our beautiful circle of 13 geese, we create so much love and light inside. We're holding this light. If there's someone you're caring for, imagine they're in the middle of the circle receiving pure healing and unconditional love and light. Now visualize yourself standing in the middle, basking and receiving this healing and love. Then gather the chi back to yourself. Give yourself a great big hug. We all deserve to be together sharing our energies as we're doing right now. And then open again. I know you can't see everyone, but I see all of you. Okay, all 10 fingers connect. All 10 toes connect. Soften the elbows, soften the knees. And symbolically, we connect to all life force and all living beings. Breathing, relaxing, receiving healing energy from the universe and feeling gratitude for all these blessings that serve you in your life. And we send healing blessings to all those that need in this planet. Everything that breathes receives the healing. And gather the chi back to yourself, embrace and receive. I'm sorry that you can't see all of you, but I see all of you and it's such a treat. We're going to slap behind, give yourself a clap and then slap your shoulders. Clap behind and then give your shoulders that nice little wake up. And standing grace, hug to smile, feel more chi flow in your body now. Lovely, bring the feet together and take your right arm and you're gonna wrap it around your neck, your right arm. Take your left elbow, hooking the right elbow to the left side. Turn your head to the right as your right hand tries to touch your right ear. The left hand tries to face your left ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over that right shoulder spiral. How far can you look behind you? Breathing, spiraling up towards the heaven. And then release, push back, palms wide open. You're gonna take your left arm and you're gonna wrap it around your neck. Your right elbow's gonna hook the left elbow to the right side. Head turns to the left as left hand tries to touch left ear. Right hand faces right ear. Look over the left shoulder towards the full moon. Feel that wonderful spiral. Lower the tail, lift the core, looking upwards to the left, upwards to the full moon. Breathe. 
And you're going to feel this wonderful chiropractic adjustment in the spine. And then push back. Any stagnant energy being released. Now taking your right palm open. Again, we're going to preen our wings, the yawn meridian. So just really brush it up. And then we're going to release down, yin meridian, cleansing, clearing. And the other side, come up the yang meridian. And go down the yin meridians. And actually, uh, what we're going to do, if you want to sit, I'm going to sit so you can see me better. But um, we'll be starting doing our points. So if you want to sit down, this would be a time to get a chair. If you would like to stay standing, you can do that too. But this is up to you. But what we're going to do is we're going to come to the tips of the fingertips, the tops of the fingertips, and through the webbing. And we're going to brush over the wrists, over that forearm. So tips, tops, webbing. Now, in between the, the webbing there, the Chinese call this the bashi points, the shi points, the devil's chi. We want to let go of stagnant energy that gets caught. So we want to really iron the wrist straight as we're really combing through any stagnant energy. Your eyes are following the hand or moving the cheek. And go the other side. So we come from the tips to the tops through the webbing over the straight wrist and arm, forearm. We're just cleansing and opening Releasing the devil's chi. Stagnant energy and the eyes are following the hand. Nice. Now come to the center of your palm, your lao gan. We gently press in as you breathe in. And breathe out, relax. We're going to breathe into lao gan, the heart protector. And breathe out to relax. Do this your own breath rhythm. It's a gentle pressure in and a gentle relax. And go the other side. Lao Gan, press in gently. Breathe out to relax. And this is so useful anytime you feel anxious. And your heart starts to beat fast and you're don't know what's going on. This is so easy to calm and regulate your heartbeat, and calm your mind. And there's enough things going around besides COVID. Am I gonna get my vaccine shot? What's going on? There's a lot of things that can cause us to lose our center. And this is a good way to come back really quickly. Now, starting your Lao Gan, and you're gonna stretch the thumb out. Lao Gan, stretch the index finger out. Lao Gan, the middle finger, the fourth finger, and the baby, and the other side. So the thumb actually connects to the large intestine, and then, um, Actually, the lungs and then the large intestine, the middle finger, the um, heart protector. The fourth finger is a triple warmer, which is a whole nother thing. The baby finger is a small intestine in the heart channel. So you don't need to know that, but now shake out any stagnant energy that you may carry in any of those organs. Just let them go, let them go, let them go. Okay, now, Three finger scouts on or over or below my wrist joint. One, two, three, where the third finger is, I put the thumb. And that is neguan. And then opposite neguan is waguan. So I'm going to gently press into my neguan, gentle pressure, and breathe out to release. So neguan again is on the heart protector, like we did before for the center of the palm. So again, it's good for anxiety, nervousness, but it's really good for nausea. If you're feeling queasy and easy, this is your lifesaver. If you're ever on a boat or a back of a bus and you start to go, oh, this doesn't feel good. We gentle pressure in as you breathe in and breathe out to release. 
And now, again, the other side, three finger scouts on, on our one, two, three, where the third finger is, I put the thumb. Now I'm gonna focus on the outer point, the wagwan. And now as I focus on pressuring this, even though I'm pressing both, but I'm focusing on the outer point, wagwan. Wagwan is on the triple energizer. It's like a thermostat in your body. It helps regulate many functioning of your body. So not only do we calm the heart, but we're also regulating the chi. Especially if you get overheated, hot flashes. And it's very relaxing. Nice. Now, my right arm is bent. I'm gonna, with my left thumb, I'm gonna follow my right thumb all the way to the crease of the elbow. And I'm gonna put my thumb at that crease area that may be a little tender. It's, it's actually the crease of the elbow. If you were to look at your elbow, where it creases, the end of the crease. That's what we're looking for, the end of the crease, which is before the elbow bone. So we're pressing that point. This is cheese. Cheese is on the heart meridian. Excuse me. It's on the leg meridian. You gently pressure in. It's good for fevers. And it's good for tendonitis. Now follow the other thumb. I'm going to follow the thumb to the outer crease of the elbow and I'm going to press the other one. And you may notice that one side's a little more tender than the other. Still give it love. They both deserve it. Now I'm going to give you another point. So if the first point was at the crease of the elbow, that's your cheese. It. If you went over before the elbow bone, there's sort of a tendon. If you go over the tendon in front of the bone, there's another point that is a little tender. And uh, this is a probiotic point. And so this is good for more flora in your intestines. We gently press and release. So the other side, I follow the thumb to the inner crease or that outer crease and go beyond the tendon in front of the um, elbow bone and press. I'm sorry uh, that I can't visually see you and your points. Um, when I teach in person, then I go around and check to make sure everybody's found the right points. But hopefully my explanation is clear enough for you to get it. Okay. Uh, the next point we're going to do, so we all know our Wan Tiao, Sayak Nerveria here. Um, we're going to do, if you follow from Wan Tiao, which is on the um, gallbladder meridian, but if you go down to the knee and create a right angle with between the thumb and index finger over the kneecap, um, if I go, if I tilt the finger in to touch the shin bone, and then I bring the right angle out where the third finger is there, that is stomach 36. Sanyin gel. And this point um, is really good for digestive problems. If you're feeling queasy, easy, let's say you had too much to eat at the meal, you slide your hand down under the table, find that right angle, find the shin bone and then straighten the right angle out and where that point is. You may find that it is tender, but it's really good for regulating all kinds of digestive problems. Okay, let's try that the other leg. So, I have my right angle, I put it over the top of the knee and I tilt the hand in to the shin bone and then I bring the right angle down about one inch from that till I find that spot. So um, I remember many times at Thanksgiving when I eat foods I shouldn't eat and I would eat too much, I would slide my hands under the table and as I go, oh, I feel awful. 
I would find my right angle and then it would smile and the pain would go away. It's, it's an instant anti-acid point. Okay, now the next point we're gonna do is Zhu San Li. Uh, wait, wait, this is Zhu San Li. And now I'm getting mixed up. The next point, over the ankle. Here's the ankle bone. Three fingers over the ankle bone. I put the thumb. And right above that, I'm gonna find an owl. This is San Yin Jiao, that was Zhu Sun Li before. So I'm gently pressing this point three fingers above. And this is where kidney, liver, and spleen come together like an intersection. And so I gently give love here. And it's the point when we, at the point where we look at the full moon and we gather the full moon's energy, our Lao Gan now will give Qi to this point and then continue on. So let's go to the other side. Three finger scout saner over the ankle bone. Then the thumb of that leg is going to go above the third finger till I find the owie point. Now, when you find the owie point, don't press. You know you're there. Give it love, not pressure. Just gently circle it. Especially if you have edema, you know, you're swollen, you don't want to push it in. You just want, you can give love with your palm. You don't necessarily have to rub that point. And again, from the full moon, we gather chi and we bring it down with the palm, giving chi to that point. And then it passes on. So it's important to know these points. Now, jung yung chen. So the bottom of my foot, if I feel where the ball, the big toe meets the other, um, it's in the center there. It's where the kidney point is, the first point on the kidney meridian. And so when I say activate Yong Chen, this is what we're doing. We're massaging, activating, but there's other ways to activate it. When you're sitting, when you're standing in grace, you're activating it. In the form, there's times we're going to put weight on the outside of the leg to open up the Yong Chen so it will receive Qi from the earth, but we're not there yet in the form, in my formal teaching. But I want you to really know your Yong Chen. Now, above, Yong Chen's on the bottom, but if you go between the ball, the big toe, and the little uh, second, Big toe and next toe. Um, and you're going to find opposite that, you're going to find an uh, owie point between the, in the webbing. And that's on the liver, liver three. So I create a kidney liver sandwich here and I massage it. So this is really good for purification of the body. And go the other side. So I've got the point up. But I've got below, and I have the point above in between the ball, the big toe, the second toe, and I find that webbing and I massage. And it's for cleansing, purifying. And if it's really tender, be gentle. You don't have to hurt it to make sure you're opening up the chi and cleansing. Now, another point I forgot to say is the bottom of the heel, if I take um, the beginning of the callus part, there's another point, and that is a point shimmyin, and this is for um, insomnia. If you have a hard time sleeping, you want to massage the whole foot and really get that point. And the other side. So it's where the heel comes up, where the um, sort of the start of the callus area, that's your point. Now I want to get one more and I'm trying to see how to show this. So the inner arch area is on the spleen channel and I'm going to massage the inner arch area. And this is really good to strengthen the immune system and it's also considered anti-cancer points. So we want to massage with the thumb and that inner arch. So it's like not under the arch, but it's like the arch where it begins just on the side of the foot. Now I know this is sort of difficult to do, 
especially two at once, you can do one, but I wanted to show you it now. Okay, Whew, enough of our feet points. We're going to do some other points right now. Okay, index finger at the U of the collar. Put both index fingers there. The thumb goes to the outside of the collarbone, to the end of the collarbone. And then we find the point in the middle of each collarbone. It should be directly over the nipple. The index finger goes on top, your, like a hanger hooking at Schweppin. Thumb hooks below at Chihu. And these points are good for cough. Asthma, sore throat, and hiccups. All of the above. And then relax and notice you're breathing and you're noticing that you can breathe fuller. Hmm. I wish you all had those huge um, TVs. I have um, some students that put me on full screen, you know, life size, so they can see in detail what I'm doing. But hopefully you're getting what I'm talking about, even though you have whatever size monitor you have. Okay, the next point we're gonna do is bike the crown, and visualize there's a golden cord lifting you up, 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 up to the heaven. Opposite bike if you went straight through the crotch, you come to the Hui Yin, the perineum, and you're going to visualize Lifting up from the lower gate, it's like a Kegel exercise. She rises all the way up from Hui Yin, all the way up to Bai Hui, and then relax. So we're going to breathe in, lifting from the lower gate, all the way up to the upper butt gate. Relax and breathe. And you're noticing how your spine gets longer, taller. Nice. Now the third finger comes to yin tongue. So this is the third eye. And we're going to gently press over the um, forehead and massage at the temple area, Taiyang. From yin tongue to Taiyang, we wipe away tension, headaches. Then we come to the inner corner of the eye, Jingming, right eye point, and we massage here, and then we go under the eye, washing away tears. So we get the inner corner of the eye, massage, any sleep that needs to be wiped away. And again, it really helps to clear your eyes. And then index finger comes to the inner corner of the nose, Yin Xiang Welcome Fragrance Point. Make sure you're outside the nostril, not inside the nostril. And then we go underneath the cheekbone, create a great big clown smile. And this is good for breathing, our olfactory. If you find that you have a stuffed up nose uh, from allergies, I know things are beginning to bloom. This is a good way to open up your sinuses. And then we're gonna come above and below the lips. The other hand supports the chi. It's like you're brushing your teeth but on the outside. And this is for gum disease, toothaches. And go the other side. And then pinch the lower jaws. If you had a beard, pinch, release, pinch, release, pinch, release all the way up. It's good for lymphatic system. And then index finger comes under the ear and massage that place. If you open up the jaw, you're going to feel where the jaw is connected. You'll feel that connection. Middle finger over the flap of the ears and we massage this. We're going to make faces like Halloween or Mardi Gras. Make masks, um, all different kinds of masks. Um, or Purim. Mask time. Yeah. Then you're going to massage your earlobes, starting at the bottom. We have acupressure points in our ears connected to the entire body. I think that's on page 17. 
If you want to take a magnifying glass to figure out all the different places that your ear has connections to the rest of the body. And then take your inner fingers in the inner crevices. We're going to massage all around. So your whole body is, has receptors in the ear. So we're just waking them all up. And then two fingers, like the scalp sign, go under, not scalp sign, peace sign. We go oh, under the ear and we're going to fluff good chi up, up, up. And then I'm going to shake out any toxic negative, anything is negative, out, 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 out of your body, out, out, out. And sit in grace, hug, kiss, smile, inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. Ah, you feel more alive? I certainly do. Lovely. So now we're going to gather chi under the in the palms under the chin and we're going to wash face energetically elbows come together come to the third eye come to the crown at bike way then open the elbows and then bring the chi down the back side of the head the base of the skull and again gather chi as we wash face elbows come in all the way to the crown and then they open up Relax breathing as we wash face, comb hair energetically seven times. Now, if you have stuffy nose or negative energy you need to get rid of, you can shake it out before washing your face. The elbows come forward and then they open up when they come to the top. And next time you go down, let it trickle down the spine, all the way down, 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 as we sit in grace, hands on the thighs, hike his smile. Notice your breathing. Notice any sensations. And then we're going to close so that as you take the palms, you palms open up, elbows are down, shoulders stay down. And we're going to gather chi like a halo over your hairline. And then we slowly pour the chi with your laogan palms over the third eye, over the face, over the throat, over the heart, the solar plexus, lower dan tian towards hui yin. And we're going to do this again. Relax breathing, elbows are down, shoulders are down as we collect the chi from the crown to the third eye. Now open the eyes and focus on your hands. As your hands come down to the third eye, you're following. As the hands come to the throat, the, arm, the eyes start to get heavy. When the hands come down to the heart, the eyes are very heavy. When the hands come to the solar plexus, they're almost closed. When the hands go to the belly, the eyes are closed. And then rest the hands on the thighs, hug his smile, the eyes are closed. Your palms are above the knees and fingers are just wrapped around the knees. Tongue touches up her palate, crown connects to the heaven. And we're going to take Five very slow breaths for a breathing meditation. And gently open your eyes. And one more time as we do the ending, number 64, the arms float up, elbows down, shoulders down. As we gather chi, this beautiful healing light, bring it to the hairline, third eye, illuminating every cell of your body.
and we are done with our warm up. Okay. Now, if you'd like to take a moment to drink something, and then we will come up to standing, and I'll go over the new movements that we're going over today. Okay, so if you remember last week um, when we lifted the chi up to the crown, opened it, then we closed hands, which was number nine, we turned the palms over, number 10. I think that's where we ended. And today we're going to do number 11. So I want to first teach it and then we'll go over the other ones. So from here, I'm going to barely bend. Remember that barely bending so that I'm sort of bent here. I'm not going all the way down. So I push the chi to the earth. My hands are going to draw chi up, bring it to the outside of the left heel, and I'm only barely bending. I'm not going all the way down, but I'm giving chi to the baby toe. Then I'm going to lift the hands and go over to the right baby toe. I'm going to push the chi down. Come in the center. And then come up. And that's our new movement for today is the bend is number 11. And then we close. So I'll show you a few more times and then we'll put it together with the ones we've already gone through. So our hands are above the head. They turned over and they lifted up and shoulders are down and the eyes are up. Then we're going to barely bend coming forward with a flat back facing the earth. The hands are going to draw chi up like a magnet, bring it to the outside of the left foot and push down, more towards the heel than the baby toe. Lift the chi up, bring it over the right side of the body towards the right heel. Then we're going to slide in the middle, relax the hands, come upright, and then we close. Arms come up, elbows down, and we gather chi pouring it down. So now we'll do it one more time and then we'll put it to the first movements. So the hands are above the head, they turned over, they lifted up, eyes were up, and then we barely bend, activate the core, come center. The hands will draw chi up, bring it to the outside of the left foot towards the left heel, push it down. Draw chi up the outside of the right heel. We're going to push down, slide in the middle, and then as you come up, we're going to gather chi to the hair chi height. Okay, so now we're going to do from the beginning, number one. Number one is starting form. I can smile, good chi, going through the whole body, fingertips are open. And loud and pumps come to one T out. We start to stretch your wings down from one to down the outside of the legs towards the baby toe. We slowly pick up a ball of energy. And we're going to lift that ball of energy up to the heaven as high as the ears, bend the knees, bring the hips forward, lift the heels. So we lower the heels as we concentrate the healing chi directly into the lower dantian and feel the energy concentrated there. We release the fingers as we come up 
to push and set our wings. So we fingers are up as we push this ball of energy out. Lots of love. Relax the shoulders, activate the core, shoulders are relaxed. Then we push the wings to the side as you come upright. You create your claw fingers together. Your kegu touches the shin shoe at the back. You lift the heels and then we really stagnant energy out to this right angle here. Again, we come up to the heart and we look between the palms. Sending loving energy from the heart. Fingers are up and they are out. Activate the core, go forward. Push the chi to the side as you come upright. Create your claws with the fingers. Bring head with the shin to lift the heels and release stagnant energy out. And now as I lift, palms are open. I bring the chi under the chin, elbows together. I bring chi to the third eye. Bring chi to bikeway. I open the elbows and then I close hands. I turn hands over as I lift, 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 lift. Arms are straight as possible, elbows close to the ears. I can't do that well, but you can do the best you can. And then we're gonna bend, barely bend, activating at the core from the quad. We push down, only go slightly. Lift the chi up the outside of the left heel towards left heel. Lift the chi up, come the outside of the right side, push down. Slide in the middle, open the hands, we'll come upright, number 64, close. Nice. We're going to do that again, and I'll walk you, talk you through, and then we'll do one more time without me talking. So here we go. Standing in grace, I kiss, smile. This is number one. Number two, stretch wings, go down, come on to your down. Come up to the heaven, lift the heels, lower the heels as we close wings, gather the chi directly into the lower dantian. Smile deep inside. Release the fingers as chi rises up to the heart. Push and set our wings, look between the palms, that loving energy, hold the chi ball of energy. Stretch it out, activate the core, relax the shoulders. Only barely bending, not far. And then I'm gonna push the chi behind me. We create a claw with the fingers or feet. I'm gonna bring it into the kidneys and then release out. And again, come up to the heart. Send loving energy. Hold the chi ball, activate the core. And then push the chi as you come up for eyes. Gather chi into the fingers, into the kidneys, lift the heels and out. As I lift the chi, bring it up to the face, to the crown of five way. Open the elbows and interlace, giving more chi blood to the brain. Turn the palms over and lift, lift, lift. Lengthen the elbows if you can. And then we're going to barely bend, activate the core. I'm centered. You know, I'm only barely coming down. Lift the core up, the outside of the left heel. Lift the chi up, the outside of the right heel. Slide in the middle, come up and close. One more time without talking and then we'll go through the whole form. So here we go.
That is the end of the instruction. And now I'll go through the first set and raise your hand if you want to stay for the second set. How many people want to do second set? One. Okay, I think we will only do the first set today because there's, unless if Lori comes, unless if I see Lori's, um, we'll only do the first set today. Okay, are you ready? And if you're new, you can join as far as you know. And here we go.
Okay. So I've decided that, again, raise your hands if you want to do the second set. If I have enough people, I mean, Dominique, do you want to do it? Okay, I'll do the second set. But before we do that, if any of the new people would like to ask questions, um, if you'd like to put everybody in main screen before we do the second set, anybody have any feedback or questions, this would be the time and then we'll do the second set. So um, if anybody has anything to say, this would be your chance and then. 
So you can unmute yourself so if you'd like to say anything. Let's thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Jane's going to watch the second set. Okay. I'll hang in there. <laughs> thank you. Okay, D. So I'm going to do it. And um, here we go. Deb, you have to uh, you have to mute us all. You're not on okay. the screen. I will mute everybody, and then we'll start again. I forgot about that. Okay, mute all.
Let's see. Thank you. 